Hey everyone, Mark from Guitar Nerds here, bringing you another Top 5 Countdown. As you know, we've covered the weird and wild guitars from Fender and Gibson in other lists, so where do we go next? Well, we thought we'd cover something a bit more shreddy, so it's time for the Top 5 Weirdest Ibanez Guitars Ever Made. Number 5. When it comes to signature models, some guitarists aren't content to take a customised version of an already existing model. So when guitarists Red Beach and Ibanez joined forces, the results were pretty bizarre. Best known for his work in Winger, Beach was a superstar guitarist in the late 80s and early 90s, and it comes as no surprise that he was offered his own signature model in 1990. Previously playing various super strats, Beach opted for something a little different for his own model. The WRB3 takes the Gibson Explorer body shape and contorts it beyond all recognition. With a long, slim lower horn and an SG style cutaway on the bass side, the WRB3's body shape had never been seen before and has not been reproduced since. With EMG pickups, a mahogany body and an edge tremolo system, Beach's signature model is ready-made for early 90s shred. Only available in 1990, the WRB3 was replaced a year later with the RMB1 and RMB2 models. Looking like a super strat after a confrontation with a chainsaw, the updated Beach models retain the mahogany body but offer the choice of active or passive pickups, and the RMB2 even included a tasteful Hawaiian koa top. Both Red Beach models are definitely out there, but the fifth place on our list goes to the super bizarre WRB3. Number four. Most of the guitars on our weirdest lists are of a certain vintage. Strange 60s experiments, victims of cost cutting in the 1970s, or shred machines of the 1980s, it's very rare to see a recent guitar on our list. But in 2014, Ibanez released something very special. Since Matt Bellamy rose to prominence in the late 90s, guitarists have been looking for ways to emulate his chaos pad driven histrionics. From clever DIY projects to real Manson customs, guitars with the MIDI controller touchpad built in have been expensive or time consuming to build. So, at NAMM 2014, when Ibanez announced a collaboration with Korg that would integrate a chaos pad into one of their budget RG models, Muse fans wept with joy. Given the catchy moniker of the RGKP6WK and retailing for around £350, this matte black Superstrat was clearly a budget model with a space carved out for the KP Mini to slot into. Not the most aesthetically pleasing solution, but it meant that the guitars could be made to a price that would be affordable to aspiring noisemakers. Offering real-time filtering of the guitar signal as well as synth and drum sounds, the Chaos Pad Mini wasn't quite as fully featured as the one used by Bellamy, but nonetheless the RG KP6 definitely lent itself to clever playing and some odd sonic experimentation. A budget option for Muse fans, the RG KP6 was a weird choice for Ibanez. Lacking some of their usual polish, obvious corners have been cut to accommodate the Chaos Pad. However, it's still a really fun instrument to play and definitely weird enough to make our list. Number 3. The guitar at number three on our list is both awesome and a bit gross. As the figurehead of the shred guitar movement through the 80s and 90s, Steve Vai has become intrinsically linked to the Ibanez brand. Launched in 1987, Vai's signature gem model has become the most famous Ibanez guitar and its distinctive vine inlay and grip handle make it instantly recognisable. Not convinced with just being the brains behind the gem, Vai wanted to make his connection to the instrument a little more physical. Made available in the year 2000, the GEM 2K DNA shares much in common with the standard GEM model. A basswood body, DiMarzio pickups and a super wizard neck are all regular features across the signature range. However, what makes the 2K DNA unique is the finish. The unique swirl pattern is not only the product of mixing paint, but also some of Steve Vai's actual blood, hence the DNA in the guitar's name. Far from just a gimmick, the blood is visible in the finish, with the guitar's painter Darren Johansson claiming that for the record, if you own a DNA, you have a good amount of the DNA. The blood red paint that I mixed was mixed at a ratio of approximately 8 to 1, so the content is quite high. The ultimate guitar for Steve Vai fans, the GEM 2K DNA, allows you to own a piece of the man himself. However, with only 300 ever made, you'll be hard pushed to find one of these. But the big question is, is it cool or is it creepy? Either way, it's weird enough for our list. Number 2. It's a guitar nerd's list, it's the 1980s, it's a bloody guitar synthesizer. As with the other brands we've covered in these weirdest lists, Ibanez tried their hand at a guitar-based synthesizer controller to follow the fashion of the decade. Their attempt, the Crossing IMG 2010, took the standard Roland GR template and refined the concept as much as was possible at the time. Utilising a hex pickup on a custom bridge and replacing the Roland touchpads with standard knobs to control the modulation and LFO, 
the IMG 2010 was an advanced beast. While the IMG 2010 featured a fixed bridge for tuning stability, it also integrated a virtual whammy bar to allow the user to perform the vibrato and dive bombs as they would on any other Ibanez trim. Experts in early guitar synthesis speak highly of the IMG 2010, claiming that it's superior to the Roland system in every way. With full control over four synth parameters, a graphite reinforced neck and a precision tuning mechanism, this Ibanez model is regarded as the best of the early guitar synths and is highly sought after today. But with only 2,000 ever made, they're in short supply. Endorsed by players such as Steve Howe, the crossing IMG 2010 is the height of 80s modernist design. And though it's well regarded, it's definitely weird. Number one. Hello, I'm Steve Vai, and I'm a proper weird guy. That's right, the passionate and warfaring one makes his second appearance on this list with a custom-made guitar that is about as weird as they come. Making its first appearance in David Lee Roth's Just Like Paradise video, the heart guitar features three necks, one with a tremolo unit, one hardtail and one a 12 string. Best put to use in the live version of Fever Dream, it seems as though Vi uses the tremolo equipped portion in a standard manner whilst utilising the hardtail and 12 string necks almost as drone strings, swiping them in between melodic phrases. But wielding that huge heart shaped body looks hellish and the guitar hasn't been a regular fixture in Vi's touring lineup. In fact, of the three heart guitars that are reported to exist, only one remains in Vi's collection, with one in the Hard Rock Cafe and the other auctioned off for charity. An innovator of guitar gymnastics and not known to shy away from extravagant showmanship, it's no surprise to see two Vi models in this list. And while either could be number one, we went with the heart guitar for the pure ridiculousness. So there we have it, five super weird guitars from the Japanese Masters of Shred. But did we miss anything? Let me know in the comments below. If you like what you saw, remember to like and subscribe to Guitar Nerds because we've got more videos coming for you very, very soon. Thanks very much, we'll see you next time. Did you know that you can now support Guitar Nerds on Patreon? Patreon is a platform that allows you to help creators from all over the world keep making the things that you love. Head over to patreon.com forward slash guitar nerds to help us keep making videos and podcasts from as little as only $1 a month.